What is up and welcome back to the vlog. We are at home today. This is the UBL game day vlog. So we just made the St. Clair Recreation Center. We do play the University of Technology Sydney. The girls just started at 11.06 right now. I walk into the stadium and guess who I see? Mr. Bailey Nathan already getting warm. How are you feeling about today's game? Good. Just good? good? Good charm for winning. Yep. So last year, uh, I didn't play the game, but we, we went to their place out in Sydney. I believe it was a big loss for us. They were really good last year. They were the runners up for the UBL last season. Um, their girls team is really, really good. They're playing right now. Um, but we got a good chance this year. We got both of our bigs, so Lockie Hunter and Steve are back this, this week. And we should have a real good chance at seeing how we go and trying to get a win here. So we're gonna head to the locker room in a minute. See what's happening in there, see, see who else is around, get the boys together, get fired up, and let's get a win today. In the change rooms right now, ahead of the game against UTS, as I said before, I got a lot of respect for these guys. So last year, some of you guys know I was flown out to film a game day video of the grand final between UTS and UCID, UBL 22. Um, they were just great hosts, great people, just awesome people. So I really got a lot of respect for these guys. Good to see them again in Adelaide. Uh, we might try and get a couple of them on the vlog a little bit later for you guys to see as well. Um, but about the changes right now. Just hung up my stuff. I always like to hang up my stuff right before the game. Just so I can visually see everything, see my sh my jersey, my jersey, see my shorts and everything like that. So this is a routine for me. But comment below your favorite genre of music because today I've been on my country music vibes and I'm loving it. Uh, if you're a country music fan, let me know below. Let me know who your favorite artist is. Morgan Wallen just released a new album. If you know, you know. Um, but we're gonna get ready right now. I might head out, do some shooting, and then we'll see how we go in the game today. I'm excited to be here. Come on, let's get this win. Go Watu Spam, go Watu in the comments for me right now. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, shoot! That is one to the underdog, Elijah, one for one. Luke's still looking to get the lid off the top of it here. One zip as it stands, one zip still, that's short. Lost the phone from the rebounders. One hole ties it up. Luke finding his range potentially, maybe not. Here he goes again, that is 2-1, two, 2-2. Two, two. Ready to go. Get it, Luke. There it is, Luke. 3-2 to the bullet. 4-2. Elijah, you're going to have to do something about it, mate. That's gone our way. I didn't feel great about you early, but when you found that spot in the corner over here, mate, came back 9 6, huge win. We've got a present for you. This is a. Oh, it's a jersey by the looks of things. There you go. Congratulations. You're number seven on the AUYT right now. Elijah, our winner for the halftime shooting. With the boys right now from Cedar College. And these boys follow me on Instagram, TikTok, right, YouTube as well. They've been out at all of our home games. What do you guys actually do at home games? I know some of you guys help us with like team manager role and whatnot, but just cheer us on. Great. So the Cedar, the Cedar cheerleading squad is here today, watching watching the games. As I said before, we play UTS in not too long now, so I think it's about half time right now, and then we'll play uh, against UTS. These guys are undefeated, as I said before. Looking for our first win at home as well this season. Looking forward to it. Should be a good game. See you guys soon. At home today, so we got the black unis, number 15. We got the New Balance two ways. Two guys, I need you guys to meet. Steven is making his UBL debut today. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm uh, feeling pretty good. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. Jun, Super Detario. Right. Can I get an outro? Uh, oh, sorry, can I get a score prediction? And then can I get an outro for the game? I reckon we're going to win by eight. Eight? That's and a tight game. Huh? Tight game. Yeah, very tight game. Um, Sydney's pretty good, so gotta respect them. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how we go. And the famous Dotario outro. Oh, you already know, we out. 
Shvetnovsky is how you say it, Bebo. Shvetnovsky gets the tip and we're underway here with uh, Bubak out there. And Toby Hunt immediately with the ball for the Watu in recent games. Yeah, spot on. Obviously, him and Reims both play for the Stern Sabres. That's oh, all. Oh, Huge. Hey, work, welcome Puffet. to the UBL, Steve Puffett. Yeah, great comment. Just a moment ago, TP. It's now 21 14, so a 6 0 run for UTS. Steal for Steel. three on oh, the buzzer, found there by Higgins Titcher. Steel was going to go to the line for a, a few shots here. Just a bit late there was. Um, meanwhile, Steel. He's had some really good games in recent times. Or the wire too. You yeah, remember his game against Sunshine Coast? That was a feature. Some of his three bombs, TP. Yeah, he's just filled the gaps nicely. This is that one. And that'll be quarter time here at the Sinclair Recreation Centre. A good attempt there from Sydney Tech. Way after the event, though, and it's 16 to 21 at quarter time. A five-point lead to the away side, Sydney Tech, in the blue.
tell you what, another person in the Y2 doing sideline work is uh, Luke Bollett, who's in the game. Have to catch up with his YouTube and uh, some of his videography of the Watu season. Captures some of the moment as Nathan goes up. is foul there by Nancaro. But it's going to be Sydney Tech. They're going to cruise on to another win. Of course, the Watu have UWA Mali on Wednesday, April the 19th over Western Australia. Next up. And they had a... One point win against them in round one last year. So no doubt it's going to be another close contest between Mali and uh, Watu. And they have shown with some of the NBL East, East production that they have got the goods in 2023 in this University Basketball League, Bebo. What an amazing game of basketball we saw this afternoon in his University a Sydney Tech 87 defeating the Watu 70, but it's been, or 72, I should say. It's been one of the most entertaining games of UBL I've seen in the two years I've called. And that is, uh, been terrific basketball today from both sides. Uh, both should be very proud in the way that they played and represented their university. Uh, but how good was um, some of the players for um, Sydney Tech? Um, Angus Lake and uh, Alex Higgins Titcher and uh, Thomas Buback. Terrific players today, weren't they, Bebo? What's up guys? Well, obviously we finished the game a little while ago. <laughs> Haven't had too much time doing any vlogging. Went straight from the game to classes and I just got out of my class right now. So I'm way to the car. It's time to head home for the day. Thank you so much for joining me today. But here's what I'm going to say about the game. Yes, we did go down. Um, they're a tough team. They're a really good team. I got a lot of love and a lot of respect, a lot of respect for those guys. Loki disappointed that I didn't get any of them on the vlog today. Um, I know a couple of them have been watching the vlogs and whatnot, which has been awesome. Just a great vibe having people from you know the other side of the country watching what you're doing um, and engaging in what you're doing too. So, so the UBL especially has been a really great program, just for people to collaborate on things, for people to support other athletes. Uh, it gives us a platform to do more, which is awesome. So, shout out to UTS guys. Make sure you guys have a safe trip home tonight. Um, really happy with we, we we had some really good moments tonight. And I think that we're going to, I was thinking about this before, like, take UTS, for example, then our 6-0. and Take us, for example, when our 3-2, and two, no, sorry, 2-3. and three. But I would much rather make mistakes earlier in the season than I would later in the season. And um, I think for us, we're just going to keep building, keep getting better. And I think we'll go deep in the playoffs as well. It's our first game with both Lockie and... Uh, Steve playing side by side, which was awesome. Um, yeah, I think it's positive. Definitely a positive time. So I'm going to sign off for today. But if you guys did like this video, please make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to a 1,000 subscribers right now. I would love to be, be able to keep sharing this journey with you guys and for you guys to be able to watch it all. So please make sure you do subscribe. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. We do have two weeks off before our next game against UWA out in WA in Perth so that's really excited for that travel game as well if I'm selected alrighty I'll see you guys real soon alright peace